Hello, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Uh, bonsoir, mesdames et messieurs, et bienvenue. <laughs> what are you doing? What? <laughs> uh, uh, we're, we're very happy to be here this evening at the Beck Theatre in Hayes. Uh, nous sommes très heureux d'être ici ce soir au London Palladium. <laughs> In tonight's show, we'll be bringing you, amongst other things... Uh, le spectacle ce soir, nous présenterons quelque chose... A uh, uh, little bit of fun. A uh, petit morceau de uh, fun. <laughs> Some um, comedy and music. Uh, le comique et le musique. Uh, a chance to swing your pants in the singing corner. Ah, oui, oui, oui. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, bon, bon. Oui, a chance de jeter les pantalons. <laughs> Oh, oui, oui, oui. Avec le coin de chanson. Uh -huh. um, there's the world of the strange. Et uh, le monde, les trons. And uh, Ken and Eddie Kennedy, the barbers. Uh, oh, ah, bon, oui, uh, le cheveu. <laughs> all right, now, well, perhaps you can just get on with things. And first bon, of all, allez, like continue. Say, hey, uh, no, Trev, premier, what are you uh, doing, Trev? What are you up to? Trev, Trev, qu'est-ce que tu fais? Pourquoi tu fais cela? No, 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 Trev, no, 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 Trev, no, no, Trev, no, 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 Trev, stop, no, Trev, stop, Trev, no, no, oh, oh, for crying out loud, oh, it's gone mad, 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 no, 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 Trev, stop, 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 we don't want this French, let's have, no, stop, no, we mean, no, no, Trev, stop, 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 this, oh, 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 madame et monsieur, je suis un pomme de terre, ladies and gentlemen, I am a potato, hang on, I'm doing this French business. Well, yeah, I can see you doing it. What are you doing all this French for, then? What's that in all? Oh, well, well, because it's 1992, you know, I'm just adding a little European flavour to the evening, and it is, and, you know, we are on Trevor and Simon's world tour. No, Trevor, no, we're not on a world tour. Yeah, we are, we are. No, it's not a world no, tour. No, it says on the posters, no, world it, tour. it's not a world tour. No, it, it, uh, sorry, uh, so, excuse, excuse, excuse us. Excuse us a minute. minute. Trev, it's not a world tour. It, it is our world it's tour. It's not. That was just a joke for the posters. The idea is it's Trev and Simon's world on tour. So we're not going to France? No. Germany? No. Spain? No. Italy? No. Croydon? No. Yes, yeah, we've been to Croydon, I think. Yeah. Oh, 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 I mean, it doesn't Croydon. matter. We may not be going to all these exotic places, but I can guarantee there will be some friends from abroad in here tonight. Oh, wait, well, like where? Well, like the, uh, the Isle of Dogs. I don't know. The Isle of Dogs? I don't know, the Isle of Wight, the Isle of Man, Isle of Sinclair. Does it matter, really? Does it? <laughs> no, no, it doesn't. Oh, oh, hang on a minute, though. I've got a good joke about the Isle of Wight. A Can joke? you tell it? Yeah. A joke? This early in the evening. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, a joke. Good joke about the Isle of Wight. Um, what comes out of cows backwards? Oh, come on, you can't do that one. Oh, well, what's the matter? You're actually giving away the punchline. You said, you said it was about the Isle of Wight. No, 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 Trev, trust me. What comes out of cows backwards? The Isle of Wight Ferry. No, poo, cow poo, oh, great big steaming dollops of it, big great cow oh, it's all crusty. <laughs> yeah, yes, but all I was trying to do was bring a little sophistication to the evening, a bit of high class entertainment, that's all. Just a bit of sophistication, that's all I hope for. Just... Not silly bottom humour, just something a bit, a bit, you know, a bit more sophisticated, a bit what? class entertainment. And you, what, you thought you were doing that by talking a load of French? Yes, I did, actually, yeah. Oh, Trevor, it may be a surprise to you, but pretty much everyone can speak French. I mean, it's taught in all the schools. I mean, oh. France is only an hour away on the ferry. People go over there, do the duty-free shopping. It's not that big a deal. Oh, I suppose you can speak French, too, can you? <laughs> of course I can. Oh, yeah, yeah. Really believe. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, it really believe, so. <laughs> Simon can speak French. Mm, really believe. Yeah. Oh, yes. I can speak French. Oh, French. Mm, really believe. Yeah. Gerard Depardieu. Really believe. Yeah. Serrano de Bergerac. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You trying to say I've got a big nose? Not exactly. No, no, no. Well, of course I can speak French. It's not. It's not that big a deal. What do you want to do? Do you want to test me? Okay. Yes. Yeah, excuse me a minute. I will no, test no, you. No, no, Trev. Wait a minute. Yeah, just, just imagine you're I've on the Champs Elysees in a little Sorry French cafe. This. You sit yourself down there. Here well, just sit here. Yeah, yeah. Here we are. You know, in Sorry Paris. Oh, yes, a little bit of a you know, French cafe setting there. Ooh, a little French cafe, a bit of French atmosphere. Oh, hello, hello. Oh, yeah, it is hello, hello, isn't it? Okay, so I'm the waiter. I've got my pinny on, I've got my tray. Okay. Come up to you. Ah, bonjour, monsieur. Bonjour. Uh, Voulez-vous quelque chose à boire? <laughs> à boire? Ah, yeah. Oui, monsieur. Voulez-vous quelque chose à boire? What's the matter, Trevor? Is your way to go a bit of a sore throat, then? No, no, I haven't got a sore throat. No, I'm just asking, do you want something to drink? You know? Oh, I see. Do I want something to drink? No, no, it's French. We live in Quebec, we have a French people like to roll their ass. Oh, well, you're doing a good job no, of that. Don't get cheap. Don't get cheap. Look, do you want something to drink? Uh, we. Oui. We? Oui, we're not a toilet. Come on, no, what do you want? Um, pasties. Pasties? Pasties? It's a French cafe. We only serve pork pies. Now, come on, what do you want to drink? Um... Voulez-vous quelque chose à boire? Uh, uh, bon, d'accord. Uh, un café, s'il vous plaît, monsieur. Merci beaucoup. 
Pardon? Un cafe, un cafe. Well, we're in a cafe, we're in a cafe. No, 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 Trev, I'm saying I want a coffee, a coffee. Okay, coffee, well, why didn't you say so? Trev, yes. can I have it with milk? Yes, with milk. Olé. What? Olé. Olé. Olé, Olé. that's Spanish, Simon. <laughs> Olé, you know, Olé. Oh, I'm a tray, you know. Olé, with the bulls, you know. I think you're full of bull. Yes, well, as Jim Bowen says, we all like a bit of bully, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, come back. Because he looks so smart. He doesn't, he doesn't want to spoil it. Doesn't he look smart, doesn't he? Look. You see, several people think you look smart. <laughs> but, you know, we've both made a bit of an effort. This is um, a suit I had made specially for the tour. It's a handmade, made-to-measure suit, made from a particularly fine and expensive cloth. And Simon, Simon's just wearing a suit, isn't he, really? But... Trev, this suit was made to measure as well, you know. I know it was. It was made to measure him down there. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we've, uh, we are quite stylish, but you probably would have noticed there's this one little accessory missing from this otherwise very stylish look. You ready? Yeah. OK. OK. Hey. Hey. Oh, 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 cool, hey. Oh, hey, it's this cool, is cool, it's yeah. Cool, yeah. You see, it's simple but effective. Oh. <laughs> so, Simon, tell us a little bit about how we achieve this classic look. What about the hair? Okay, well, let's start off with the hair. I think the hair should be uh, neatly groomed and above all short. Okay, so that's short hair. Mm -hmm. What about the suit? The suit should be uh, classic in design, single breasted, neat and sharply pressed. Okay, a sharp suit, but that one will do for this evening, won't it? <laughs> And um, the shoes? Shoes are uh, polished and nice and shiny. OK, shiny shoes and, of course, shades. So that's short hair, sharp suits, shiny shoes, shades. <laughs> short, short hair, sharp, sharp suits, suits, shiny, shiny shoes, shoes, shades. Short, short hair, sharp suits, shiny shoes, shades. 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 Sharp hair, shiny suits, shiny shoes, shorts. Sharp hair, shiny suits, shiny shoes, shit. Sharp hair, shiny suits, shit. 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 Oh. Hey, no, hey, hey, no. hey, 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 we're cool. No. No, hey, we're, we're cool. cool, we're cool, we're cool, I'm cool, he's cool. I'm cool, he's cool. I'm cool, he's hip. I'm hip, he's hip. I'm cool. No hip. I'm cool. I'm hip. I'm cool, he's cool. I'm cool. And stupid. And stupid. Ha. What? Do you like good music? Yeah, yeah. Sweet soul music. Yeah, yeah. Dancing to the music. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Do you like good music? Yeah, yeah. Do you like Chesney Hawks? Yeah, yeah. Ha! <laughs> oh, I didn't know you liked Chesney Hawks, Simon. No, no, I, actually, I don't, Trevor. Oh, really? no, I don't. So why did you say, yeah, yeah? Look, look, why did you say, no, no, don't actually, Trevor, no? Can, can we just stop all of this? Can we just try and get on with the show now, oh, please? The show, yeah, excuse me, the show. The show must go on, Mr. Show Business. Do your show. I like to see a good show. No, no, check it's, it's, it's not my show, it's our show. I just wanted us to get on with doing the show. I was getting on with it. No, you weren't. I, I was. You weren't. I, I was. But, Sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> Trev, you weren't getting I, well, on I was getting on with No, it. you were just getting on with having a go at me. What do you mean having a go? Look, I don't think the audience here want to see your bitterness. <laughs> what bitterness? I don't think they want to see the real you. They've paid good money to see this show. They want some good, decent entertainment. All right, yeah, OK. You're all right, Simon. I, I tell you what, I've got to bring on some props for the next bit of the show, so I'll be coming and going. Oh, I'll give you on then. No, no, it's all right. I'll, I'll bring on the props. Why don't you stay and do some of your good, decent entertainment? No, I'll That'd be great. You. I'll bring on the props. You can do, you know, no bitterness. Good, decent entertainment. No, I'll give yeah, you... Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, by day, Simon Hickson is just Simon Hickson. But tonight, live on stage, Simon Hickson is Mr. Entertainment. Yes! <laughs> good luck, Simon. No bitterness. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd, I'd like to do some ventriloquism for you. <laughs> I'd like to introduce you to, uh, to Benny the Bunny. <laughs> hello, Benny. <laughs> Say hello to the nice ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Perhaps you'd like to sing us a song. <laughs> Have you got all these props ready, then? Yeah, it's all ready, yeah. Good, so what is it we're doing? Oh, right, oh, well, what I thought we'd do is uh, Trevor and Simon's pop quiz competition time. Oh, well, that's a good idea. So how do we do it, then? Is it like teams or individuals? Well, it's individual, actually. It's just you. 
But uh, it's quite simple. What I do is I ask Simon some questions, and any questions he gets right, I give him a point. Any questions he doesn't, and I won't. As simple as that, really. Uh, Trev, what, what about the audience? They paid good money to see this show. I know. I, yeah, all right, I'm sorry, but the room's a bit too big, and there's far too many of you for you to actively participate. But please feel free to play the game inside your own head, okay? <laughs> well, sit yeah, back and let Simon do all the work. It's going to be a battle of laughs, isn't it? Oh, I'll tell you what, all right, to make it a bit more fun, we'll split the room down the middle. Let's say about there, OK? Right? So uh, this half of the room, you're on my team, and this half of the room, you're on my team as well, OK? <laughs> so let's hear from my team. <laughs> so, Trevor, wait a minute, what about my team? Oh, OK, all right, Simon's team, that's uh, you, lady, just down there, OK? <laughs> OK, so let's hear from my team. <laughs> let's hear from Simon's team. I think you're going to try, have to try a little bit harder than that. Let's hear from my team. <laughs> Simon's team. Oh. <laughs> oh, well, good luck, Simon. <laughs> no, 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 I'll do really well. I'm going to win at okay. this, I can tell. Right. Are you ready, then? Yeah, what do I have to do? Okay, I'll just sit you on the uh, pop quiz hot seat, okay? On this? Yeah, there you go. It's small. Quick. Okay, feeling relaxed? No. Good, okay, now you need a buzzer to get in quick with those answers, won't you? Trev, so I'm the we only go. one. There you go. No, you've got to get in quick. There you go. OK? Does it work all right? Yep, yeah, seems to be working. Great. OK, right. OK, so we'll start with the first question. Yeah. OK, right, we'll start Red's with the... Reds, uh, working. Reds, yeah. working. working. All right, thank you. Thank you. Start with... Start with the first question, then. What are you doing now? Well, I'm concentrating. I'm getting ready oh, for the question. I thought you were going to the toilet or something. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Right, the first question. Who is the odd one out? Is it A, Kylie, B, Genesis, or C, Tears for Fears? Hey, Kylie! Hang on, hang on. You've got a buzzer. You get... Hey, Kylie! <laughs> I'll do the question again. OK, right. Who is the odd one out? Is it A, Kylie, B, Genesis, or C, Tears for Fears? Um, Simon? Hey, Kylie! No, I'm afraid not. No, the answer was C, Tears for Fears. You see, Kylie and Genesis are rubbish, whereas Tears for Fears are crap. <laughs> OK, so let's hear from my team. And Simon's team. <laughs> She's really rooting for you there, Simon. I've had it. <laughs> Have you? <laughs> OK. <laughs> I didn't know what. Hey, Kylie! No! Too late. Okay. Like that. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> what? Kylie. No. The second question. Which of the following best describes new kids on the block? Is it A, awful, B, not very good, or C, American? C, American! Oh, hang on, hang on, wait. C, on. American! I'll repeat the question. Which of the following best describes new kids on the block? Is it A, awful, B, not very good, or C, American? Uh, Simon. C, American! No, you didn't give me time to finish the question, did you? It was C, American boys with bags of personality and some great dance routines. <laughs> A! No, you can't change it now. B! No, it's too late, no. B! No! No! B! No! The answer was, in fact, D. D! Oh, no! There isn't a D! Let's <laughs> hear from my team! Yeah. Simon's team! Yeah. It's not getting any better, is it? <laughs> okay, right. You... Oh, you're right. right. That was my team. Uh, yeah, so... <laughs> Choking on the front row. <laughs> Keep it up. <laughs> OK. <laughs> what? Nothing, just testing uh -huh. the buzzer. Right, I'm going to move on to another round now. You're going to hear some voices of some rock legends. They're rock legends who have been at the top, but are now losing it on top. <laughs> Can you recognise this voice? When our record, Sultans of Swing, became an international hit single, I hoped I soon might become one of the greatest guitarists in the world. In fact, I am now, but it hasn't stopped me going bald. Who am I? Um, Simon? Mark Knopfler! No, I'm afraid not. No, it's the lead guitarist with Dire Straits, Mark Knopfler. <coughs> no, no, Jeff, wait a minute. Wait. Mark Knopfler is Mark Knopfler. It's his name. He has a silent K. 
Like Michelle Pfeiffer, she has a silent P. I don't think we want to know about that. Let's hear from my team. Yeah. Simon's team. Yeah. Hang on, hang on. Where did you come from? Yeah, defectors. <laughs> Can you recognise this voice? When I sang Goodbye Yellow Brick Road, I didn't realise I'd soon be saying goodbye to my hair. Still, now, as well as stupid hats and stupid glasses, I've got a stupid transplant. Who am I? Simon? Elton John! No, no, I'm afraid you missed the clue there. The clue was stupid glasses. It's the wife of former hostage Jackie Mann, Sonny Mann! <laughs> Let's hear from my team! Yeah. Simon's team! Yeah. Ah, the worm's turning, is it? <laughs> what? Sonny Mann! No! Sonny Mann! No! Trey? No! What? I just wanted to ask you a question. Well, what's the point of this quiz, anyway? Oh, well, it's purely a device for me to humiliate you in front of a live audience. <laughs> oh, it's working well. It is, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> OK, here's the last voice. Can you recognise who this is? Hey, Simon, do you remember when I was in that jacuzzi with Sarah Green and Philip Schofield and I said, hey, everyone, let's talk. <laughs> OK, that's the end of the pop quiz. Thank you, you very Jeff. much. Thank you. you Thank Jeff. you. You! Sinatra. Not Highway, which is a Sunday afternoon worship program 
with Abby Seagull. You didn't tell me the light, though. Oh, pardon, sir. Nothing, Greg, nothing. But what of our mystery? For by now, Mr. Wells has cheerfully sung his way through half the song, and has just reached the words, yes, there were times I'm sure you knew. When I bit off more than I could chew. However, but do you know strangely and suddenly, Mr. Wells, I the fun stopped. And I spat it out. The backing tape became nothing more than a pulsating throb. Oh. And the words oh. that he sang became incoherent and distorted, oh. like those of an alien language. Mr. Welsh then staggered and fell to his knees. And from his wide open mouth, a powerful jet of thick green sludge shot across the room. Oh. It splattered across the tables full of drinks. Oh. It splattered across the onlookers' faces. Oh. And it splattered across the pile of pennies collected all for a good cause. <laughs> what has happened, Greg? Like in the Exorcist, as the devil entered him. Or oh, had Martians from the moon tuned into the later karaoke system, infiltrating Mr. Welsh with their own toxic alien juice? Or was he just a bit pissed? No, oh, no. Well, yes, yes friends. On five pints of Deakston's Old Peculiar. Deakston's Old Peculiar. Proved by the evil alien warlord Peculiar from the planet Picos. Yes, friends, in his desperate and evil bid to take over the world with his campaign, The Real Alien. <laughs> You see, friends, the facts speak for themselves. We mere humans are under constant bombardment by forces beyond our control. The police force. No, not the police force, friends. The forces I speak of are the forces of psychic energy. Watch now, friends, as we take you into the world of mental photography. You may know I am rather gifted with psychic powers that are mental. And I'm quite handy with a camera. This is a special kind of camera, a hemorrhoid. Polaroid. And this friends over here. This is a photosensitive plate. We all know how a camera works. Oh yes, yes, yes. But what friends if we could reproduce an image without the use of the camera itself? Friends, I will call upon my own hidden power. I will use my third eye. So oh, yes, friends. <laughs> the mind, friends, the mind. And to prove that my friend will only use his third eye, his other two will be covered. Friend, blindfold yourself. Yes, friends. And now, friends, do not be afraid, for I am about to come amongst you. So oh, yes, friends. I come to seek out a photographic model. Seek, friends, seek them. I seek them, friends, I seek them. However, I should point out, I am not the aforementioned Harry Seagull. <laughs> now let me see, friends. Ah, yes, friend here. Would you pose for me? Yes, friend, here. <laughs> yes, friends, just as I thought, I have found a bit of a poser. <laughs> So, friend, I will take your picture. My friend on the stage has never seen you before. But to prove this, he cannot see you now. Friend, can you see anything? Pardon? How many fingers am I holding up? Pardon? Oh, yes, yes, the blindfold is in place. Friend, explain your purpose. Pardon? Uh, just get on. Oh, yes, friend. Friend, you will take a picture using your camera. I will take the same picture using my third eye. Yours will develop inside the camera. Mine will develop inside this envelope here. Oh. <laughs> friend, place it inside the envelope. I am blindfolded, friend. Then you are supposed to have a third eye. It isn't open yet. <laughs> Is it in yet, friend? I'm doing it now. It is done. Good friend, now I will take my photograph. Friend, say cheese. And now, friends, while this photograph develops, my friend on stage will take his photograph. First, I must point my third eye. Do not forget to open no, I it. I won't forget to open it. <laughs> friend in the audience. No, friend, say we are over here, over here. Oh, yeah. Don't worry, Greg, my third eye does have a wide angle. 
Run in the audience, say cheese. Oh, it is done. And now, friend, take a look at this photograph developing here. Friend, will you confirm to me that that is a picture of you? Friend, next to the friend, will you confirm this is a picture of your friend? Friend, next to the friend of the friend, will you confirm this is a picture of the friend next to your friend? Friend, next to the yes, friend, 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 I think friend. enough confirming, thank you. Yes, friend, and now, remove your blindfold. Pardon? Uh, just take it off, friend. Oh, yeah. Friend, this is my picture. And as I speak, friend, the very same picture is developing inside this envelope here. Is it ready yet, friend? Soon, friend, soon. Is it ready yet? No, not yet. Will it be colour or black and white? I don't know. Matte or glossy? I don't know. Will you be getting a second set of prints? And I'm not super snaps. She's done. Friend, this is you. My friend, this is you. <laughs> oh, friend, this is Harry Seacombe from the ITV's popular Sunday worship program. My way. My way. I apologise, friend. You see, there are forces in existence that are beyond even my control. The police force. No, not the police force. <laughs> However, friend, please take this as a souvenir of the time you were interfered with by Harry Seacombe. <laughs> A round of applause for our friend. gave me a bit of a turn. <laughs> Hello, I, I'm sorry, I didn't see you all sat there waiting. <laughs> it's funny that, you think I'd have noticed several hundred people sat outside my barber shop. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh, you settle down there, sir. <laughs> I'll give you a haircut if you're not careful. <laughs> yeah. I'm just sweeping up, you see, because uh, where there's hair, there's germs, you see, so I like to sweep up all the hair and, and sweep it into here. This is our hair cupboard. My brother Eddie should be here soon. Eddie! Eddie! Oh, hello there again. Oh, 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 my goodness, Colonel. Uh, are all these customers? Well, I think so. There's, there's some of them who could do with a haircut. Oh. Yeah, especially oh. you, sir. Oh, sorry, madam, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. oh, we've not had a customer for quite some time, have we, Ken? No, no, well, actually, we've, we've not had a customer since 1975. <laughs> no, 17 years, that is quite a long time. I wonder why that is, Ken. Do you think it's because we're in a recession? No, Eddie, no, it's because we're crap. <laughs> oh, no. No, again, don't get bitter. Oh, why not, Eddie? Well, because I'm a Guinness drinker myself, actually. You see, that was a bit of a joke, that yeah. was. <laughs> yes, it was a bit of a joke, oh. wasn't it? Oh, so, so how's everything going then, Ken? Are we, are we nearly ready to open up? Well, I've just been sweeping up a bit, you know. Oh, good. And have you checked those clippers? Oh, yes, I've checked the clippers. They still don't work. Oh. Have you tried oiling them? No, but I've rubbed a bit of dripping on them. Oh, good. Well, I'll, I'll just put this in the hair cupboard. Oh, what's that then, Eddie? Well, it's a special treat for later on. Oh, well, that'll be that. Oh, sorry, <laughs> we've not really introduced ourselves properly, have we? You see, we're barbers. Ken and Eddie Kennedy, the barbers. Yes, and, and it's important to remember that we are barbers and this is a barber shop. We're, we're not hairdressers and we're not one of those fancy hairdressing saloons. <laughs> no, no. No, we're not a saloon. <laughs> no. no, not like that place down the road. What's it called, Ken? Follicles. No, 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 that's not the one. No, no, no. Snippers. Snippers Hairstyling Saloon. No, no, it used to be called Snippers. It's, it's changed its name now. Let, let me have a think. Oh, oh that's it, yes. Haircutech. No. What sort of a name's that for a place? Haircutech. It's a stupid name, Haircutech. You see, it's all tech these days. Do you know, my local fish and chip shops change its names to Fiskatech. Oh. <laughs> And then just down the road, there's Kebabatech. And then next door to that, there's Morris's, the dry cleaners. <laughs> no, you've not got the hang of it at all, have you, Eddie? 
<laughs> oh, 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 I know, though. There is the discotheque. Well, this is my point. kebab tech I want to eat a kebab and not dance with it. Yes, yes, you see, the point is we don't like anything fancy. No. Not like that fancy hairdresser. What's his name, Ken? Sassoon. That's right, yes. Siegfried Sassoon. <laughs> <laughs> no, Eddie, it's Vidal Sassoon. Yeah. Oh. But anyway, it's the other one I can't stand, that trendy Irish hairdresser. Oh, which Irish one? Timote. Oh. <laughs> Timote. I, I mean, what's it all about? Uh, yeah. They're all the same with their fancy hairsprays and their hair gels and their mousses. Well, you'd look silly with a mousse on your head, wouldn't you? Yes. You see, I've always been happy with this myself. Oh, what's that? Industrial wood glue. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> Put that on your head and you need never cut it again. Why is that, then? Well, you can just snap it off. Oh, oh, oh I've also found the teenagers like to sniff this. Oh, we well. don't allow that, no. <laughs> I do. No, no, no. No, we don't allow that. I do. No, no. No, no we don't allow that. I no. Do. no. No, we don't. I do. No, we don't. But you see, personally, I've always been more of a fan of the more old-fashioned products myself, like this one here, Brillo Cream. Oh. <laughs> Brillo Cream? You mean Brill Cream, Eddie? No, no, Ken, I mean Brillo Cream. It's a, it's a hair cream and saucepan cleaner in one. Oh. <laughs> I made it myself. Oh, yeah. You see, we make a lot of things ourselves here in this barbershop, don't we? Eddie? Yeah, yes. Let's have a look at some of oh. them then, Ken. OK, then, yes. You see, I can see there's some of you young ones out there, and I know you young ones. You like these products that are made naturally, don't you? Those natural products made orgasmically. Yeah. Well, everything these days got to be orgasmic. I, I was in a body shop the other day. It's, it's like being in a green grocer's. Everything's made out of fruit and vegetables. That's right. So that's why we've come up with our own range of natural products. You see, this is a cream conditioner with blue cheese and mustard. <laughs> And, and then we have a range of shampoos. This is a, a herb and garlic shampoo. Oh, yes, that's my favourite. I use that. Look at my hair. Look how, how nice and soft and bouncy and herby it is. Yeah, but that's a wig, Eddie. <laughs> you mind your business, Ken. And then we have other shampoos. We have a whole range of shampoos. We have sardine, peanut butter, and this is our latest shampoo, tandoori chicken tikka masala. <laughs> Yes, we find it works best after you rinse your hair first in seven pints of lager. <laughs> and then piddle all down your trousers. Oh, that, that reminds me, Ken. I, I've got a new one here. It's a, it's a shampoo and conditioner in one, and it's made with concentrated prunes. Oh, really, Eddie? Yes. It's called Wash and Go. <laughs> oh. We'll have to use that if we ever get a customer then, won't we? <laughs> oh, no, Ken, you've misunderstood me. It's a joke, you see. Concentrated prunes, wash... And go! Oh. <laughs> oh, yes, I see now. Yes, wash and go. Yeah. Wash and go. Yeah. Wash and... Anyway, let's tidy up now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's tidy up a bit yeah. now. Let's yeah. see. Oh, oh, well, what's this one here, Can I, I don't recognise this. Is this one of your homemade ones? Well, I don't know. Have a look. Oh, 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 I can't open it. It's all, it's all crusty and congealed. Oh, is it? Let's have a look. Oh, oh it is, isn't it? Oh, it's in a dreadful state. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Oh, 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 it stinks, Eddie. Oh, 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 it's deplorable. Oh, 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 it smells like the devil's own ass. Oh, yeah, oh, 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 look, and look, look, there's something written on the side of it. Oh, 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 look, look, 1982. King's Hospital. Oh, yes, I remember now. Yes, that's 1982, King's Hospital. Yes, I had a particularly bad case of that bile I get in my stomach. Oh, oh you've had it as well, have you? Yeah. No, I kept bringing up this thick yellow bile. Yes. The doctor asked me for a sample. I wondered where it had got to. Oh, dear, ten-year-old bile. I don't like the sound of that. No, I don't like the smell of it. Oh, 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 oh put it away oh, yeah. now, then. Oh, oh, my goodness. Oh, 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 Lord. oh, 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 it, it, it seems to have a little aerial poking out of its back. Yeah. I wonder if it can get Sky Television. <laughs> oh, my oh, goodness. Oh, dear. Well, oh. anyway, as you can see from the sort of things we have here in the barber shop, we're just an ordinary, straightforward, no-nonsense barber. Yes, and we just do ordinary, straightforward, no-nonsense haircuts. Yes, like these. Yes, and this one here. These are the sort of haircuts we like to do. Nothing fancy, and, of course, 
We don't do perms. We don't do perms, Ken. No, I've just said that. We don't do perms. We don't do perms, Ken. No, we, I said we don't do perms. We don't do perms. No, Eddie, no, I'm telling them. We don't, we don't do, do perms, Ken. No, Eddie, I know. We don't, we don't do perms. Eddie, we don't do perms. We don't do perms, Ken. I said we don't do perms. We don't do perms. Yes, I know. We don't, we don't do perms. No, no. We don't do them. No. We don't, we don't do perms, although, although there was a time when everyone who came in here wanted a perm. Yes, well, it was because of that footballer, wasn't it? Kevin Keegan. Oh, yes. Well, he had what became known as the footballer's haircut. Yes, he had his haircut in the shape of a football. Yes. But we don't do perms, and, and we don't do tinting, and we don't do colouring, and we don't... Oh, do you remember that gentleman? He came in, he wanted highlights. Oh, highlights, yes. Highlights. I, I didn't know what he was talking about. I said, what do you mean, highlights? What, like on Grandstand? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, what do you want me to do? Cut your hair in slow motion? Oh. And then he wanted to make an appointment. We don't do appointments. No, we you don't you do just it. come in and sit and wait your yeah. turn. We, we don't do appointments. No, and we, and we don't do perms. We don't do perms. I said we don't do perms. I know, we don't do appointments. We don't do appointments. We don't do perms. We don't do perms. We don't do perms. No, we don't. We don't do perms. We don't do perms. Eddie. We don't do perms. Eddie. We don't do perms. We don't do perms, Ken. We don't do perms. No appointments. I know, Eddie. Just sit yourself down. He gets a bit agitated if you mention perms or a We don't do no, perms, Ken. We don't do perms. I know. You sit yourself. I'll just sweep up a bit. It's like I say, the hair can be a bit of a health hazard. <laughs> and where there's hair, there's perms. We don't germs, do perms, germs, Ken. Sorry, we germs. don't do perms. Germs. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Anyway, I'll just sweep all the hair into the hair cupboard. We don't have a hair cupboard, Ken. No, we do, Eddie. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes, we yes. do, don't we? Oh. Anyway, look at all that hair. It's lovely, isn't it? I'd like to make something out of that one day. I have a good mind to make something. One of those incontinental quilts. <laughs> yes, you see, that's the thing about Ken. He's, he's a bit of a hair fanatic. He's, he's what you could call a hair spotter. Oh, well, you could call me that, yeah. Oh, oh that, that reminds me, Ken. I, I've got a little present for you here. Oh, I've got a present? Yes, just oh. a little present. In front of all these people. Oh, oh it's thank, nothing. Thank you. I, I wonder what it could be. Oh, look, it, it's some more hair. <laughs> oh, oh. It, it's not just oh. ordinary hair, Ken. Hey? No, it's special hair. Oh, is it pubic hair, Eddie? <laughs> oh, oh, no, Ken, no, don't be rude. Oh, I'm sorry about Ken's rudeness. <laughs> well, no, I, I wouldn't mind if it was. I used to have a collection of pubic hair. Oh, yeah. oh no, 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 that's enough, no, Ken, no, that's enough. I used to pick them off toilet seats, yeah. They... <laughs> oh, yeah. I had over 5,000 different varieties, yes. <laughs> Quite a few ginger ones and dark brown and all sorts. It's quite amazing, really. Oh. In the end, Eddie threw them all away. Oh, well, I had to. It was rude. And, and anyway, actually, Ken, I, I didn't throw them away. I gave them to the Salvation Army. Oh, good. Okay. But that's not rude hair, Ken. No, that, that's special hair. Well, why is it special? Well, it's antique hair. Antique hair? Yes, yes. It's, it's over 100 years old. I, I got a view of that barber's convention in Glossop. Oh, Glossop? Oh, yes. Hundred, oh, yes. I can see some 100-year-old scurf in it now. Yes, oh, it's, oh, all, really? it's all dry and white and powdery. Oh, let me have a look at yes. that. Oh, 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 yes, it's quite good, yes. Oh, yeah. It's not too bad, although it did cost me over £30 for that. £30? Yes. £30? You could buy all the hair in China for £30. <laughs> no, you could buy all the tea in China, Ken. You are, Ken. You mean you could buy all the tea in China for £30? Oh, no, you couldn't buy all the tea in China. That would cost billions of pounds. It would cause mass employment throughout the country and cause all sorts of trouble to the Chinese economy and then have a knock-on effect on a global scale. Yeah, 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 yes, shut up. Now, Ken, shut up now, Ken. I, I think it's about time we opened up the barber shop. Don't yes, you? so do I. Yes, there yes. must be a customer out there somewhere. Oh yes, yes, there must be somebody who needs a bit of a haircut. I'd have thought uh, let so. Let me have a look now. Oh, There's got well, to they've be all somebody got a bit jittery, who haven't they? All of a sudden. Oh, oh, oh they've all got remarkably pale. Oh, oh. Oh, sir, that's an interesting haircut. I think we could do a bit of work on that. Come on up, sir. Come on, let, oh, let's, yeah. have, let's give him some encouragement, shall we? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Up you come, sir. Come, come along, eh? Oh. What's, what's your name, then? John. John? Oh, oh. Well, you're not John Noakes, are you, by any chance? <laughs> I wondered what had happened to him. Oh, 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 there oh. You. oh, oh my goodness. Oh. Oh, I thought you had a hat on. Oh, 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 oh dear. Oh. You've got one of those Matt Goss haircuts, haven't you? I can... yeah. Matt Goss? He doesn't no. use paint on his hair, does he? Oh, my goodness. I don't know. It's very shiny. He might do. Oh, look. oh it's very smooth. Oh, yeah. oh. Oh, it's, oh, you use a fancy kind of gel, don't you, sir? It's, it's a bit like stroking a Rivita. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh no, it is, isn't oh. it? Yeah. Oh, put a bit of cheese on that, yeah. Oh, that's a bit lovely. Yeah, yeah. No, John. 
no, 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 oh. no. No, look, uh, oh. I think we'll just give him a bit of a hair examination. Oh, yes, right, that's the best thing, really. Yeah, let's have a look at it. Let's have a bit of a look. Now, yeah. now tell me, Ken, uh, how are you finding his scalp? Oh, that's easy. I'm just looking underneath his hair, and there it is. But, oh, oh, it's in a dreadful state. Oh, you've got some very sore redness on the top of your ears there. Oh, you want yeah. to rub some lemon and salt solution into that, John? That's yes, yeah. help. And what else have you got? Oh, you've got some lice in there. Oh, oh and some scurf, and also, oh. oh, and there's some dandruff. That's terrible. And what, what else? Oh, oh, oh you've got oh, that. Oh, oh, that. Oh, 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 John, where did that, how did that get oh, in there? Oh, how did that oh. get in there? Oh, that's terrible. You must it? use one of those seafood salads oh, on yes. your hair. Oh, and John, oh, here's your brain, John. Oh. oh. Oh, that's terrible. How did, oh, that's really, oh, that's some all sorts of things in there. Oh, and here's a tin of plum tomatoes. Oh, oh that's strange indeed. How did that, oh, look, I think we should give him a good shampoo. Yeah, yes, yeah, so we'll give him a bit of a shampoo, yes, I think. can you get the wrap? Oh, yes, yeah. I'll, I'll get that. We'll give you your hair a good shampoo in, John, don't you worry. But it won't hurt or anything, but it won't be very pleasant, so no. we don't want you to see. Uh, you know? It's not very pleasant, this, so we'll, no. we'll, we'll cover John up. You don't want to see this. It's a bit nasty. But we'll try not to hurt you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not hurting you, am I, John, or anything? No, no, no good, no. no. Let's, oh. let's see. Oh. Give it a good rub in there, then. I am giving it a good... Oh, oh that's... Is that it? Yes. Are you feeling better now, John? That's, yeah, I think we're yeah. OK. Are we ready? Yes, oh, good. Indeed. Let's have a look, then. Yeah. Oh! 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 Oh, my goodness! Oh! Oh, Ken! You've given him a perm! No, I... Uh, no, don't, No. We don't do perms! No, we don't... We don't, don't do perms, Ken! Keep back! We no. don't do perms! Don't worry, John. Don't, we, no. don't do no, perms, don't. we don't do perms, Ken! We don't do perms! No, 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 we don't do perms! We don't do perms! It was just a joke. It was just a joke. It was a wig. Let's have a round of applause for John. He did very well, Ed. Well, Thank John. you very Thank much, you, John. John. Thank you, oh. Oh. oh, John. Oh, John, 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 John. Oh, before you go, I'd like to give you something for the weekend. <laughs> oh, no, Ken, no. You're not going to give him those out-of-date condoms, are you? No, it's, it, oh. it's something for the weekend. It's a pound of carrots for your Sunday dinner. There you go, John. Oh. Thank oh, you very much. Go, You're very oh, good. Thank there. you very much. Very good. Oh, 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 oh. oh dear, Ken. Oh. Oh, all that talk of carrots, is, it's made me feel quite peckish, actually. Yes, yeah. I'm not surprised. Oh, I think I'll get something to eat now. Oh, oh yes, I forgot to tell you. Yes. We don't just keep hair in the hair cupboard. Eddie keeps his lunch in there as well, you see. Keeps it nice and warm, all the hair. What have you got in there, then? Oh, Eddie? well, there's a few leftovers in here. Look, there's a, a fried egg oh, there. Oh, fried egg, yeah. Uh, uh, a couple of nice fish cakes. Oh, a couple of fish cakes. Oh, oh and look, look, here's oh, a tin of stewing steak. Oh, a tin of stewing... It's a tin of dog food, Eddie. Oh, oh, well, never mind. Waste not, what not. I'll eat anything, I will. And uh, this is the special treat I got. Look, I've got myself one of those nice salt beef sandwiches. Oh, that's yes. really nice. I think I'll make myself a nice salt beef, egg, fish cake and dog food sandwich out of all of this. Oh, it's a bit of a oh. mouthful, isn't it? That's oh. very nice, that. Oh, that'll be lovely, that. Yes, yes. it will, yeah. Oh, let me have a... Oh. What's the matter, Eddie? Is it the dog food? Is it, it was six months old. Oh, no, no, it's not right at all. It, it, it's the beef, Ken. What, what do you oh, mean? Oh, this, this isn't salt beef. They've just given me plain beef. Oh, oh, oh this oh, isn't salt beef. Oh, plain oh, beef. I'm going to have to put a bit of salt on that, I think, yes. Ken. Yes, I'll just get some salt on it. Oh, oh no, not that, Eddie, no. Oh, no, 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 it's all right, Ken. You know I like it salty. Yes, but no, oh, no, Eddie, not Eddie. No, Eddie. no, I still can't taste no, but Eddie, it. Eddie, Eddie. No, it's Eddie. all right, I like salt, no, Ken. No, Eddie, Eddie. Oh, what is it now, Ken? That's not salt, Eddie. Oh, is it sugar? No, no, it, it's dandruff. <laughs> Really? Where did that come from then, Ken? Well, it's mine. <laughs> Lonnie, I bought some of that head and shoulders now. Oh, really, Ken? I never knew you had dandruff. Yes, absolutely bloody loads of it. Yes, it's a really embarrassing problem, actually, yeah. Oh, mm. well, don't worry, it's not a problem for me. It tastes fine. Oh. If anything, though, it's, it's just a bit bland. I could do with spicing it up a bit. Yeah. Have you got some of that lemon curd around? I think I'll put oh, a bit yeah, of no, that have on. have a look, yeah. yeah. Here you go, Eddie, yeah. Oh, oh thank you very much, Ken. Like, oh. That'll be lovely, that. No, that'll be a really nice treat. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. That's much better, that is. Oh, no, Eddie, I've got the lemon curd here. Well, it's all right, Ken. I've got the lemon curd here. No, no, this is the lemon curd. No, no, no I've got it here. No, this is the lemon no, curd. No, no, I've got no, it here. No, this is the lemon curd. No, I've got this, it here. This is the lemon curd. Well, what have I put on my sandwich, then? Ten-year-old bile, 1982, oh. King's Hospital. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. It doesn't taste too bad, actually. Oh, it's quite good. a treat. Oh, that's nice then. Good. Mm. <laughs> Lovely.
Kennedy, Kennedy, the barbers. I cut, I blow. We're Kennedy, Kennedy, the barbers. Our shop's very tidy, but it's not very big. And my brother Eddie wears a very bad wig. Oh, you mind your business, Ken. I'm Ken. <laughs> I'm Eddie. We're Ken and Eddie, Kennedy, the barbers. I'll shave off your beard and I'll shave your moustache Then all you'll be left with is a nasty red rash Oh, nonsense, I've used this razor for 30 years now I wash, I go, I comb, I foam, I shave, I rave Oh, no, I didn't Oh, you're a raving loony, if you ask me I crop, I chop, I clip, I snip, I brush, I Claudius, I Claudius, with Ken and Eddie Kennedy, Ken and Eddie Kennedy, with Ken and Eddie Kennedy, Ooh. the barbers. Thank you oh, very much. Thank Good you night, much. Ed. Thank you. Oh. 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 oh, 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 it's so, oh, it's great to be here. Oh, 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 oh hello, we better introduce ourselves. Hello, we're Guns and Roses. <laughs> I'm Guns. And I'm Roses. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, that was just a joke. <laughs> we're not really Guns N' Roses. <laughs> actually, we're from a look-alike agency. I'm Richard Branson. <laughs> and I'm Andrew Lloyd Webber. <laughs> with a beard. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was just a joke, too. <laughs> actually, we're an outrageous pop group, heavily influenced by an American 1960s president. Yes, that's right. With a JFKLF. <laughs> 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 no, not really. <laughs> Actually, we're a groovy Ray fan that make chipboard wardrobes. Yes, we're EMFI. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not that either. <laughs> to be honest with you, we're the singing, singing corner. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, thank you. <laughs> Well, you've heard of us. <laughs> you see, I'm Don singing. And I'm Bob Corner. <laughs> Are you ready to swing your pants? Oh, oh good. Oh, actually, I haven't swung my pants for so long. They've gone all stiff. Oh, oh you need to give them a good oiling. Yes. Well, let's see if we can remember how to swing our pants. Oh, 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 I went all goosey then. Oh, <laughs> Are you oh. feeling groovy? Oh, good. Oh, 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 swing your yelps. Because <laughs> oh, oh, I'm feeling really groovy. We'd like to sing you a song now. It's all about feeling groovy. Oh. If you know it, join in with us. It's called Feeling Groovy. Oh. I'll just get my flute ready. Slow down, you're moving too fast You've got to make this moment last Just skipping down the cobblestones Looking for fun and, and feeling groovy oh. la 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 feeling groovy Join in, the words are simple <laughs> I'm only miming 
what you knowing I've come to watch your flowers growing Ain't you got no rhymes for him? Oh, rhymes? Um, do 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 Feeling groovy oh. La 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 Feeling groovy Sing it a bit fast, oh, a bit fast, isn't it? Oh. La 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 Feeling groovy Oh, I think the sound man sounds smooth Oh, the sound man Really great Oh, supposed to happen. Oh. 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 Well, I think the tape machine exploded. I, oh. well, that wasn't supposed to happen at all. That, that was just the first song from our three-hour concept LP. It just exploded. Oh. It's not the only thing that's exploded. What do you mean? I think my pants have exploded. Oh, no. Oh. Well, if not exploded, split. Oh, okay. Bye, then. Uh, no, no. Come back. Where are you going? I thought he said, hey, let's split, man. <laughs> let's split this heavy scene. <laughs> Turn on, tune in, and listen to Radio 5. <laughs> no, 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 silly. It's my pants. They, they've split. They've burst. They've gone to pants heaven. Oh, wow. Well, can you still swing your pants? No, I don't think so. I can sling my pants into the bin. Oh, no. <laughs> well, you see, I don't want to swing them in case you see my Jennifer Junipers. <laughs> they might pop out. Why do you keep Donovan records in your pants? Oh, that was silly. I just said Jennifer Junipers because I didn't want to say balls. Oh, well, well we don't want to see them. Go and change your pants. Go and change it to something oh. more groovy. Oh, all right, then. Will you be all right on your own? Oh, yes, I'll be all right. It's the audience I'm worried about. <laughs> all right, then. I'll, I'll just shoot off. Oh, it won't be that exciting. <laughs> Oh, oh, I'd like to sing an old English traditional folk song now. It's called Frog Went to Courting. Oh, Frog Went to Courting, he did ride a hum, hum, hum. Frog Went to Courting, he did ride a hum, hum, hum. Frog Went to Courting, he did ride a gentleman sex with a five style. Hum, 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 hum. I closed my eyes. wearing now? Oh, it's all I could find in the dressing room. Oh, I think it was left behind from Joseph. Oh, what makes you think that? Well, there was £200,000 in the pocket. Oh. <laughs> no. Oh. no, I don't think it was from that Joseph, though, actually. It's from a new version of Joseph that's just been written. Oh, really? Yes. This one's about a brilliant engineering student who's so clever they won't even allow him into university. Oh, what's it called? Joseph and his amazing technical drawing evening classes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, is this your coat of many colours? No, it's my coat of many man-made fibres. Oh. <laughs> oh, but these are my golden Technicolor dream pants. Oh, oh. oh dream pants. <laughs> oh. Are you having a dream now? <laughs> well, sort of. <laughs> Are they really made of gold? Oh, no. Don't be silly. They'd be far too heavy. No, they're just painted gold. Oh, what are they made of? Cast iron. Oh, oh but they've got a nice lining of asbestos. Oh, why asbestos? Because it's asbestos I could do. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's really because I like the feel of asbestos next to my skin. Oh, yes, so do I. Oh. But why are they dream pants? Oh, because with them on, I can tell you your dreams. Oh, wow. Go on, then. Oh, last night... You dreamt you were floating on an ocean of blue mist. Oh, yes, I was. <laughs> and then some multicolored peacocks flew by in slow motion across a crystal clear sky. Oh, yes, they did. And then you dreamt we brought out a comedy record with Donovan. <laughs> oh, yes, we did. 
I wish we hadn't. And so do I. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I was playing some of my progressive rock. Join in and rock your pants. Oh, oh no, stop, no. Oh, it's giving me a bit of a headache. No, I'm going to switch it on. Oh no, don't do that. Don't. Oh, oh, you're all right. Oh, oh, yes. It's just that I forgot to wear my pants. Oh, dear. Oh, oh. oh. Oh, we'd like to sing you a, a final song now. It was written especially for us by our, 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 our cousins in Sweden. They were a group called ABBA. <laughs> you might remember them. They were called Agnetha, Bjorn, Beardy, and, uh, and another one. <laughs> anyway, it was a song they wrote for us that goes like this. I'm nothing special. In fact, he's a bit of a bore. No, no, I just said I'm nothing special. I'm not a bore. <laughs> when I tell a joke, you've probably heard it before. Oh, no, my jokes are very funny, actually. <laughs> but we have a talent, a wonderful thing. Because everyone looks when our pants start to swing. We're so grateful and proud. All we want is to sing it out loud. So I say thank you for the music, the songs we're singing. Thanks for all the pants we're swinging. Who could live without them? I ask in all honesty. What would life be without a song or some pants? What are we? So I say thank you for the music, for giving it to me. Oh, you'll like this bit now. I'm going to do a bit of acting. Mother said I was a swinger before I could walk. You see, I'm a little baby. <laughs> she said I began to swing long before I could. Oh, that's good. I'm not saying talk. <laughs> but we often wondered where did it all start? Who made our pants swinging become such an art? Was it part of God's plan? Oh, I don't know about that, but whoever it was, I'm a fan. So I say thank you for the music, the songs we're singing. Thanks for all the pants we're swinging. Who could live without them? I ask in all honesty. What would life be without a song or some pants? What are we? So I say thank you for the music, for giving it to me. Oh, I'm going to tell you a secret now, you see. I am so lucky. I am the boy with golden pants. I want to sing it out to everybody. What a joy. What a life. What a pair of pants. Thank you for the music, the songs we're singing. Thanks for all the pants we're swinging. Who could live without them? I ask in all honesty. What would life be without a song or some pants? What are we? So I say thank you. For giving it to me. Oh. So I say thank you. Oh, thank you. I gave it to him. I gave it to him. And now we're giving it to you. Go out and give it to everybody else. We're the singing corner. We hope you've enjoyed yourselves. Thank you for coming. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Thank you.